हेलो फ्रेंड्स लाइक एनी अदर ड्रग्स और मेडिसिन इवन ऑक्सीजन इज कंसिडर एज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट ड्रग सो द हाउ इट हैज टू बी यूज इट्स प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इट हैज टू बी वेरी क्लियर ओके एट टाइम्स एरर इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिंग ऑक्सीजन मे बी टू हाई और लेस हैव डिलीटेरियस इफेक्ट ऑन द पेशेंट आउटकम सो वॉट आर द इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्टार्टिंग ऑक्सीजन थेरेपी so one is hypoxemia because of any reason if your spo2 is less than 90 or pao2 in is less than 60 mm of mercury you have to start oxygen so that tissue hypoxia is avoided also in conditions like shock or cardiac uh, failure or severe anemia one may start oxygen to increase uh, the dissolved concentration of dissolved oxygen so in this video we'll describe about common oxygen delivery devices how to use them and then few errors common errors which we have seen in our practice uh, uh, by the nurses or at times by the doctors so the, there are variety of oxygen device uh, delivering devices are available they all vary in their complexity their convenience tolerance by the patient or the delivery of fir2 so they differ uh, in that broadly they are categorized into high flow and the low flow devices so basically low flow devices are the one which do not meet the total inspiratory need of the patient so that certain amount of air is being taken from the environment so basically fio2 in low flow devices varies and depends on the tidal volume as well as respiratory rate of the patient whereas high flow devices they have they usually met the total inspiratory need of the patient so this is how they are uh, broadly uh, classified so we'll discuss one by one the common uh, delivering devices so first and common is uh, nasal prongs so these are uh, uh, nasal prongs okay so they are easy cheap and convenient to use you just have to appropriate size prongs has to be selected uh, you can give 0.5 to 4 to 5 liter of oxygen but not more than that uh, oxygen you should not give because then drying of the nasal as well as oropharyngeal mucosa happens irritation happens so uh, avoid giving too high uh, flow by this fio2 you can get somewhere between 24 to 40 percent of fio2 you may get by using nasal prongs also it is easy for you know you can uh, for patient can speak eat or those things are more convenient for the patient so usually less sick patient with low flow ox low oxygen requirement one may start or uh, use uh, nasal prongs a uh, second is the simple mask so these are the simple oxygen mask uh, basically this again you can use up to 5 to uh, 7 liter up to 8 liter of flow you can use with that but the fir2 somewhere between 40 up to 50 55% fir2 you may get with this a uh, simple uh, oxygen devices now there are certain non uh, devices something like these are the nrm mask so th they come with a mask which has valves and a reservoir of volume of around 600 ml so this devices need a flow of minimum 8 to 10 liter and you can uh, get almost 90 to 100 percent fr2 with by using these devices so make sure you flow you use adequate and in sick patient where you don't know exact amount of fr2 requirement you have to start with uh, non rebreathing mask in infants we do use these are called oxygen uh, hood so basically these are used in infants where the whole head and up to neck part is inside that uh, device again flow you have to keep at least 6 liter per minute because if you keep less uh, flow in this so then there are chances of co2 retention because of uh, this so make sure you give adequate flow when you are using this again fir2 requirement uh, you can be high at time 70 60% till you can get fir2 with these devices uh these are a uh, venturi mask so basically they are color coded uh, devices there if you can see there it is written what fr2 35% and 8 liter per minute so this is based on the principle bernoulli principle you attach your oxygen light and whatever the flow written you uh, start with that flow and that much fr2 will be delivered so bernoulli principle so air will be entered from here and the oxygen and that will give F desired fr2 with this so basically these were the common five devices which we routinely use it 
the common errors which we have seen one in nasal prongs people give 7 liter 8 liter when there is an hypoxemia no you can't give such high flow with nasal prongs it irritates it uh, the, your mucosa gets dried and irritation because of that so uncomfortable patient will become more uncomfortable so do not uh, do that uh, or let your staff uh, do that mistake number two in hood they are weaning by keeping one liter or two liter of oxygen in in in, in this devices that is not right it will lead to co2 retention so certain amount of flow as fixed or by the manufacturer at least 5 to 6 liter one should give. Third mistake which we have seen is that in non rebreathing mask starting with 1 liter, 2 liter when they are weaning. No, this is a device which needs 8 to 10 liter minimum of flow so that the air gets, the bag is filled with full oxygen and you get, you can give high FiO2. Uh, so uh, I, I, I hope you are clear about how to use these devices, what FIR2 uh, these devices can deliver, so in which situations uh, which to use has to be very clear. Now at last certain hazardous effects of oxygen also we should know. So when not required we should always try to wean the oxygen. So in premature infants we know that uh, it's it known to cause uh, retinopathy of prematurity because of uh, uh, high oxygen. Also, oxygen causes free radical uh, induced uh, injury, so that has had to be kept in mind. Uh, very rarely or theoretically, they say that because of lot of uh, oxy uh, nitrogen washout, you, you can have uh, atelectic toxicity also. So I assume uh, this is clear about uh, oxygen therapy or oxygen delivery devices. Uh, do like share and subscribe to this channel Think Media. Thank you.